What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Game for Daniel, aka D. I'm back with another video. Today, I am gonna be fixing up this 212cc Predator. Um, this was the original engine that came off the mini chopper that I got, which right here is the mini chopper right here. Uh, I did up the frame, you know, repainted the frame and all that, and I stuck a 47cc two-stroke engine on it. Um, but yeah, so gonna need my toolbox. All right, so yeah. Anyway, this is the original motor. Came off of that mini chopper. Uh, it runs, but it has issues. So and instead of, I've been thinking real hard. I was either debating of buying a whole new engine. Or fixing this one up and then I got thinking well this it would be a lot more cheaper of just fixing this one up because there's nothing wrong with the engine it's just got a little issues and it just needs new parts so today's episode of fixing tech I am gonna be doing um, taking everything apart and yeah so today on part one I'm just gonna be taking everything off that pretty much needs replaced and then in the next video I'll be after I order all the new parts and stuff I'll be putting on all the new parts on it all right so I'm gonna got some disinfectant wipes and I'm just gonna wipe it down and clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer maybe sand off some of this rust right here and just make it look better and take off all the old parts all right so clean it all up get all this looking pretty nice uh the previous owner that had it uh they were just kids i mean they didn't know what they were doing and they pretty much put this engine through hell um so yeah i made a deal with them and traded them my motorized bicycle for the whole frame and engine and everything because i know i can get this sucker up and running if not better so but first i want to make it look nice a lot better it's got a lot of it's it's pretty nasty looking so be right back with you guys after i clean all this off all right so right here is the make of it it is a 2020 so it's the same year as my scooter and um it's got all the information on it uh it takes 10w30 and again, it's a six and a half horsepower, 212 cc Predator engine. So uh, yeah, this, this sucker is gonna be pretty nice. All right, so I got the exhaust pipe off, this weird looking exhaust pipe, which we're gonna get rid of this sucker and replace it. And that's what it's looking like in the inside, a lot of carbon in there. All right, now we gotta take off the car barrier. I'm making some cheeseburgers in the process as well. And yes, guys, don't worry, I wash my hands. And that's what the hamburger's looking like right now. I'm gonna eat these real quick, take a break, and then get back to the engine. Hot as hell and I can't feel it in my hand. That's because I got like nerve damage in my hand so I can't feel anything really barely and voila there's dinner but we gotta get this carburetor off which it's missing a whole cover right here all right so we got this hose off oh a little bit of gas came out of it oh now yep yeah, now it's coming out all right next we gotta take off the gas tank all right so right here's the carburetor I got this spring off, well, this little rod off, finally, and now this old carburetor should come right 
off. And uh, we ain't gonna be needing this one because I am gonna be ordering a new one. So yeah, as you can see right there, right there is where the air, at, what this is, and this little guy right here is what pretty much holds the hoses and stuff. But we'll take this off, clean it. Like I said, this motor needs some serious cleaning. It's very clean inside though, so that's good. Uh, now, the guy I got this off of, he says the governor's off of it, but honestly, I don't see where it is. It's still got the original springs on it. It, it. It's even got this on it. Like, there's no way the governor's off of this. I, I still believe the governor's on this, so I'm going to do a separate video of taking the governor off this motor. Because, again, like I said, the kids didn't know what they were doing. <clears throat> all right um yeah so th those are like the three that i got off so we got the rusty looking exhaust which i'm definitely replacing that for sure definitely replacing that that's that's just bad and and not even that these exhausts suck carburetor stock carburetor obviously it's stock <clears throat> gonna be putting a racing carb on it for sure so don't be needing that gonna be replacing that as well gas tank um i i'm probably gonna keep but i'm thinking about going bigger not sure but i got those three off and right here is just the engine and all that and like I said it, it needs some serious cleaning make it looking better than what it does now so I am gonna clean a little bit more fur so right here's part of the air box I, I don't know what they did with it but it's missing pieces I don't know but we'll set that down there and we're gonna get this guy all, all right clean. so go ahead and get this guy nice and degreased get all this stuff off of it for sure as it's pretty nasty looking just get it looking better it's like they had a lot of um, I don't know what you call that like a lot of carbon all over it we're after gonna get some grease for the sprockets as well all right, we're getting this guy pretty cleaned the best I can. The, no, I'm literally doing the best I can here. All right, here's underneath. Alrighty guys, so it's not like the best booking, but it's a lot more clean than what it was. I got it at least looking better than what it was. All right. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of part one. Um, I'll be coming out with another video with part two once I get all the new parts here. Once I buy them and get them shipped here. And I'll do a part two of me putting the new parts on it. Till next time, guys. Subscribe. If you're new and I'll see you in the next one peace